Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at a general overview of the brush creator. We're on Rebel 8 and there are now bristle brushes, so I want to share just a couple things that you need to know in order to really make use of this. Uh, first off, before we jump into it, let's open up a new brush. So I think the best way to make a new brush, start with one you like. Bristle Round 2 is one of my favorite new brushes. We're going to go to Open Panel. This is the context menu here. And we're going to do Copy Brush Presets to Favorite. You can also duplicate the brush preset, but we're going to do it to Favorites so we can isolate it. You can see here Bristle Round is highlighted in My Brushes 2. And you can make new brush categories by right clicking and choose Add Group. For this tutorial, we're going to do that. We're going to drag this down here into My Brushes 3. And we're going to bring this category up to the very top. Let's rename this. And then Enter, and we are set to go. Now I'm going to minimize the UI so we have just the Brush Creator tab open. You can do this by pressing F5. Open and close or you can go into Window and choose Brush Creator. Also, here in the Properties panel for any of the tools you're using, right here, Brush Creator, this will show or hide the Brush Creator panel. All right, so the basics here. We have Texture Brushes. This is going to be an image over and over again. These are called Stamps do a quick illustration here. We're going to turn off smudge. We're going to bring this up to spacing of 100. Notice that we have this same image in our shape and grain. This image is repeating itself over and over again. Let's make it smaller or closer together, the gap smaller. You can see it starts turning into a brush. So you have a good idea of what's happening there. For bristle brushes, this is different. One of the main influencers is thin, thick, and edges inside of the bristles category. So we're going to look at these one at a time. Notice I've turned off thick and edges. Uh, edges cannot be on unless thin or thick one of those is on. It won't do anything here unless you have one of these other ones on first. All right, so we're going to bring impasto down. We're really going to look just at density. So these are thin bristle strokes. As we increase the density, this is like volume or number. It's going to put in uh, a lot more strands on our brush. We add impasto. Notice that we get these thicker paints. The impasto is higher. If we want to cut into the impasto, as we paint new strokes over the top, that's what remove impasto does. Let's bring this down all the way on both of these. Go to thick. We're going to bring impasto down. Now these are the thick strands of the brush. Now this is a lot of variety here. We have jitter on, jitter over here on. You see that these are more uniform if we disable those. Uh, there's also jitter up here, noise, frequency, random noise. These are all jitter, uh, which makes every stroke different. And this is what we want when we're painting. Uh, we don't want it to look uh, mechanical. So the same thing applies here. Adding impasto is going to give us thick impasto. Remove impasto is going to allow us to cut into the paint. We've already painted the thick impasto when we paint over the top of it. And let's reset the brush and go to edges. Here when we paint, you can see this thick impasto on the edge of the brush. If we turn off edges, you can see that's gone. 
can bring up the impasto of that edge so it's really thick and chunky. In the full tutorial of the brush crater, which will be coming out in the future, I'll go into each of these options so you know what all of these do. Right now, thin, thick, and edges is one of the best ways to uh, customize your brush. Uh, impasto behavior, when you have this turned on, light pressure very gently affects the impasto, where heavy pressure pulls and pushes the paint. So you have a lot more control in this version of Rebel over what happens with and in the impasto, the thickness of the paint. And this is, in, in my humble opinion, one of the coolest additions to Rebel 8. Now, if you're looking at blending the paint, the paint modes have their individual curve editors here. These function very similar to how texture brushes function. And one of the new most exciting features is the color noise per bristle and color noise per stroke. Let's go ahead and bring this up. This is per bristle. You can see how different all of these are. You can make it a gentle variation. So you see just slight differences in the hue, saturation, and lightness. So again, every single stroke is different than the stroke before. Let's disable that and do color noise per stroke. Let's bring the hue up. You can get subtle variations with every single stroke without having to fiddle with those different colors and the color picker. Blend them together. Create very natural looking paint strokes. These are all uh, jitter, which means that every single time it's randomizing. When you're making changes to the brush and you like what you've done, you can click up here in the top left of the Brush Creator Save Changes as Default. Since we've placed this in the Favorites folder, you can do that without worrying about copying over the default brush that was created by Rebel. If you'd like to duplicate, you started making changes to the default, but you haven't saved it somewhere else, moved it to Favorites, or made a duplicate, this button right here will create a duplicate and just uh, up the name by one number, so this would be bristle round three that's saved. All right, guys, that's it for our brush creator overview on the bristle brushes. If you guys have questions, and I'm sure you do, put those in the comment section. We'll look at those for when we create the brush creator series. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.